Alright. As the video title suggests, here are four ways to protect our precious Insta360 X3. We all know that even though the X3 has a rugged build body, its lenses are still very vulnerable to scratches, or worse, being totally shuttered. So my first line of protection is the Insta360 official sticky lens guard. We have a pick here which will be useful when we are taking out the sticky lens. We also have the extra double-sided adhesives here which we can use to reattach the sticky lens guard. And the manual which are both on English and Chinese languages. We also have a microfiber cloth here, which is exactly the same one material as the one that came from the X3 box. Then we have the lens guard itself. I don't like the labeling done on these lens guards. It's confusing. It says front and back. What is the front and back of the X3? That will depend on the user's perspective. It would be clearer if they just labeled it inner and outer. Inner will of course be the side where the 2.29 inch screen is located. Okay. Based on the manual, the thicker lens guard should be installed in the outer side of the X3. Well the thinner lens guard should be on the inner side lens, or the screen side. This again makes the front and back label in the lens guard useless, as we still need to compare them manually. Okay. The one in the left is thicker, which means this will be on the outer side. So the one labeled as back should be installed in the outer side. Back equals outer side. Another important thing to note here, based on the manual, the half circle slit here on the lens guard should align with the microphone hole here. Otherwise, the microphone will be blocked and the audio of your recording will be messed up. Alright. Let's start installing the back slash outer guard lens. Let's remove the stock plastic from the X3 lens. Now let's expose the adhesive from the lens guard and let's carefully place the lens guard on top of the lens. Again, make sure that the microphone hole is not blocked by the lens guard. Then press the sides of the lens guard for at least 15 seconds on each press points. This will make sure that it will stick tightly to the X3's body. And we're done with the back slash outer side. Thus do the same in the inner lens. Remove the stock plastic cover of the X3 lens. Expose the adhesive side of the lens guard. Place it above the lens and make sure that you don't cover the microphone hole. Then apply pressure to the side of the sticky lens guard for at least 15 seconds. That's it. Our X3 lenses are now protected. But, we will need to do something to make sure that our sticky lens guard will not affect the stitching of our 360 recording. Open your X3, go to the shortcut menu, and make sure that you enable the sticky lens guard icon here located at the bottom left corner. And now we're done. Next to the lenses of X3, its 2.29 inch screen is another vulnerable point. So, just like our cell phone screens, we should also protect them. There is a pre-installed film in the screen, but this is just more of an initial plastic cover and not really a screen protector. So a dedicated screen protector is advised. Since the screen of the X3 is curved at the sides, I don't think there is a tempered glass available for this yet. So this protective film will do for now. We have the usual dust absorption and guide stickers here, plus a microfiber cloth. And we have the screen protector itself. It fits perfectly to the X3 screen with a hole to expose the Insta360 text below the screen. Let's remove the stock plastic cover. And this is not required, but I like to dip a folded scotch tape and screen to remove any small residues that mostly our naked eyes can't see. Okay. Let's peel off the adhesive side of the screen protector. Then align it properly to the screen. Then from the center, apply enough pressure to massage the screen protector into the screen, removing any bubbles. It is better to do this with a microfiber cloth so that while you are removing bubbles, you are also cleaning the surface of the screen protector. Two birds in one effect. And there we go. Our screen and lenses are now protected. We're now ready to take out and use our X3 outside. Now, during downtime when using our X3, we can't be careful enough to protect our lens. And so it is also important to get this official Insta360 X3 lens cap. It is made of a thick rubber which can protect the lenses from accidental bumps and scratches. My X3 has a sticky lens guard installed now, and this lens cap might be designed for a bare X3 only, so let's try and see if it will still fit. Well, it does fit. So I guess Insta360 has anticipated that most people will be installing a sticky lens guard and made this lens cap fit even with one installed. Nice. It is a really tight fit, but still fits nonetheless. So during any downtime when shooting or when you are not using the X3 at the moment, you can just pop in this lens cap and be less worried about your X3's lens. Of course, as a cheaper alternative to this cap lens is the pouch that comes with the box, which also still fits even when the sticky lens guard is installed. But I would still prefer the lens cap since it is a lot thicker, which means more protection, and it's also a lot easier to put in and take off, especially when you are still in the middle of a shoot and just took a quick break. Alright. So far we are protected when using our X3, as well as for small breaks when shooting. 
Now, for the final and fourth protection suggestion, let's protect our X3 when traveling or storing it. I suggest getting this kind of carrying case. It has net zipper compartment from one side where I store the manual, and the extra double-sided adhesives for the sticky lens guard. I also keep my charging cable here. Along with a microfiber cleaning cloth, which I usually use to wipe the lenses before shooting. To keep any moisture out, I also make sure to put in a bag of silica gel here. This helps avoid any moisture buildup in the lens, especially on the sticky lens guard which is prone to moisture. When I anticipate to not use the X3 for more than a day, I usually remove the battery and place it neatly on this battery slot. There are two battery slots here, in case you have an extra battery for your X3. Of course, a slot for the Insta360 X3 itself. Which still fits perfectly well even with the sticky lens guard installed, making the lens part thicker. And this area here is for a battery charger hub, which I don't have. Yet. So I am using this area to store the pouch, and for the lens cap, which is a smaller silica gel bag, again to avoid moisture. All of these items are secured inside this hard shell carrying case, which you can carry when traveling, or just store anywhere when you are not using your X3. Just to note, the case I have here, I believe is the smallest one. There are bigger carrying cases than this which can also fit the invisible stick, and even a bigger one that can fit the 3 meter invisible stick. There you have it. The 4 easy and simple ways how I make sure that my Insta360 X3 is protected all the time and on any situation. Hope this helps. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Milisuge for watching. Nova Air.